Hi, I'm Dennis Ogle at John Deere. Today I want to talk a little bit about our 9 Series round balers. Now when you take a look at our products and our portfolio of round balers in the 9 Series, you're going to see everything for the guy that bales a few hundred bales a year, the 459 standard behind me, up to a guy that bales 15 to 20,000 bales a year with the 569 premium. But regardless of whatever product you're looking at, we offer you a high quality piece of machinery that's going to get the job done and go to the field to work. To start off, I want to talk a little bit about our drive lines. What I have here is a Grobe Spline Telescoping PTO shaft. Now this drive line is the best available on the market today. This is going to telescope in and out, under load, in a variety of conditions, and is really built to last. Now some of the features of this telescoping PTO shaft is a lockback collar. So when I go to fit this up to my tractor and put it on my PTO shaft, this collar is going to lock back so I can use my Ford to push it up on the shaft instead of with other shafts and drive lines. Sometimes you'll have to pull that collar back and hold it back while you're pushing it up onto the tractor. Something else that's really nice is the 60 degrees of free rotation that I have. You're able to get this baler hooked up in an easy and short amount of time so you can get to the field and get to work. Another point, it's a lot lighter. This Grove Spline Telescoping PTO shaft is a lot lighter than previous versions. And I think you as a customer is really going to enjoy it whenever you're trying to hook up that PTO shaft. Now with this particular tractor, we've got a drawbar that's at 13 inches. And really our spec says that our drawbar needs to be about 13 to 20 inches off the ground. So with this drawbar being at the low end of the spec, you know, we have to do a little bit of changing around on this adjustable hitch. With this adjustable hitch, this does affect our feeding capacity. Now, I like to use an analogy to show that. It's kind of like your front door. So, if your front door is only a quarter of the way open, you're not going to fit through it as easily as if it's all the way open, right? Well, it's really the same concept with our round baler. With the hitch right here, and the pickup back behind me, and a 13-inch draw bar, our front door isn't really that open. So, if we can actually bring that hitch up a little bit, we're essentially opening that front door, making it a lot easier to bring more crop in through that pickup into that bale forming chamber. So you get done a little bit earlier in the day. Now, sometimes it's the complete opposite of that. We actually, you know, if you've got a tractor draw ball that's really high up there at the top end of the spec, you might actually have to drop the, the baler down a little bit so we can pick up that crop in the windrow and those pickup teeth can get down there far enough to pick it up. Now as a customer, you're going to see a major advantage with our low profile pickup. Now when I look at this low profile pickup, I see a smaller diameter drum that's really going to pull that crop from the windrow into that bale forming chamber in an easy and fast manner to minimize that crop loss. Now on my 9 series round baler, when I close this gate up, my belts are going to be lined up about vertical right here behind this pickup. Now this is a vertical bell forming chamber. So when that first six to eight inches of crop come over that pickup, these diamond tread belts are gonna take control of it and make that nice tight core, which is the foundation of a bale. Now, this is a variable chamber. So as that bale grows, these belts are gonna grow with it. We're gonna kick out that bale at the end of the row, and you're gonna have a nice square shouldered bale that's really gonna stand up round, resist moisture, and you're gonna have less spoilage at the end of the year. Now with the John Deere round baler, you're going to see a major advantage. Our net wrap attachment here is, a, is located at the rear of the baler. This provides you easy access and when you have to go to change this net wrap out, or B wrap in this instance, your spare roll is located right here above. Just take it down, put it in the cradle, and go to work. Now B wrap is offered exclusively only to John Deere right now and you're going to see this next year start to look a lot more like your net wrap. One thing that's really important to see is that whitest green stripe should be located to the right when you go to feed this net wrap on. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to load your net wrap. So what I like to do is I'm gonna take this tail a little bit, pull a little bit of it off, put it between your rubber roll, your metal frame, push your cradle into the home position, take a little bit of that uh, looseness out of there, run your hand up, kinda twist it a little bit into a rope, 
push it between that rubber roller and that metal roller. Take your handle, ratchet it four times, locking it on the fourth. Take your pocket knife out, cut the tail about an inch long away from the rubber roller. Close down your lid, you're ready to bail. On a John Deere baler, you get a great monitor. We offer this Bail Track Pro to all of our customers on a 9 series round baler. This Bail Track Pro on a 459 standard is really optional, so that comes with the auto tie. What you're going to notice on this Bail Track Pro is you don't see the bail shape indicators. And that's because on a 459 standard, those bail shape indicators are manual and on the front of that baler. Now let me show you what you're going to see whenever you operate your 459 round baler. The same monitor, Bail Track Pro. When you turn it on, you're going to see those bell shape indicators in the middle of that monitor. Easy to see in the sun all day long. This monitor is very easy to use, intuitive, easy for the customer. One touch operation. So if I need to see how many bales I've bailed, just press one button. If I need to change the sizing of my bales, press that button up and down. Something else that's really nice is we've got green on the left and red on the right. So if you see something in the green, you're good. Keep on bailing. If you see something in the red, that means you got an issue you need to address. Regardless, these monitors are great for our customers today. We really think you're going to enjoy them in the field. <laughs>